Sony has been teasing a new God of War title for a while now. In fact, they announced that a new title was in development way back in 2014. Various rumors alluded to a late 2017 release date, but it looks like fans of the franchise will finally be getting their new title on April 20th, 2018. Before we get into this video, be sure to subscribe to The Gamer and ring that bell to stay up to date with all things gaming. Here are 10 secrets you missed in the new God of War trailer. Number 1. New Kratos it appears that old age has made for a kinder, gentler Kratos. No, he's not exactly relaxing in a rocking chair on the front porch with a glass of lemonade. From the looks of the trailer, he appears to have grown out his beard and calmed down quite a bit from the screaming, head-ripping, vengeful demigod of titles past. Of course, he's still the same character, albeit a less angry one. The change in attitude will definitely make for a different type of gameplay. Number 2. Fatherhood One reason why Kratos may have decided to hit therapy and calm his gremlins is the addition of his son, Atreus. With a kid under his wing, maybe he decided it's time to set a good example. After all, if his kid is anything like him, showing little to no restraint could prove to be dangerous down the road. No need for a God of War Problem Child Edition. Allegedly, he also has his own skill tree and can fight alongside his dad with some special moves of his own. Number 3 setting. As fans of the franchise know, Kratos spent most of his time traveling around Greece in his quest for vengeance. It's somewhat difficult to imagine that he would spend time anywhere else, especially considering the franchise's ties to Greek mythology. This time, it appears as though Kratos is spending his retirement years kicking around somewhere in possibly Norway or Scandinavia somewhere. Alright, so judging from the trailer, he could be in any similarly forested area, but well, just trust me. Number 4. Mythology The new setting has been referred to as Norse mythology. Yeah, that's not really a location, so obviously the game won't be taking place there. The term itself has been thrown around a lot, and it appears as though Kratos will be hanging around in Viking times with a lot of Norse mythology thrown in for good measure. While it's not very clear how much of Norse mythology the series will be borrowing from, a few Norse gods and monsters have been mentioned. It'll be interesting to see how Greek and Norse mythology interact. Number 5. Language and Magic Of course, with all the new additions to the God of War storyline comes a new language. Actually, it's an old language. It's said that the game will include Elder Futhark, which is allegedly one of the oldest forms of Nordic runes. This obviously means that there will be at least a fair amount of translating the new language, which sources say will unlock quest lines and reveal new parts of the game. Now what would all these runes be without magic? Rumor has it that these runes will be used in casting earth spells. Fortunately for Kratos, his son is adept at reading the new language. Number 6. Gods With all that Norse mythology comes a heaping helping of Norse gods. In fact, the new title would be lacking without them. However, there is a clear difference between the Greek gods Kratos had a problem with and the gods of Norse mythology. It's said that the Norse gods in God of War will be more like laid-back hippies who are super into Mother Earth, man. Okay, probably not Mother Earth because that doesn't align with their overall story, but you know what I mean. Probably like Yggdrasil or something. Number 7. Monsters So now that Kratos is on that Ambrosia Xanax, will there even be combat? Will there be a vendetta? Will there be horrifying monsters begging to have their heads ripped off? Yes. This wouldn't be a God of War title without them. Jormungandr, the World Serpent, was featured in a previous trailer. Of course, with that may come Ragnarok, the Norse apocalypse for the uninformed. There's also something called The Revenant. No, not the Leonardo DiCaprio movie. It appears to be some sort of undead creature different from the Draugr. Number 8. Game Mechanics Hold on to your hats. The game mechanics are changing in this God of War installment. Kratos still has his Spartan Rage, thankfully, but instead of the Blades of Athena, he's got an axe instead, which will obviously change how combat plays out. To make up for this, there is still magic involved, and Kratos will have help in the form of Atreus. More importantly, they've removed jumping, which was previously an integral part of the God of War franchise. Number 9. Platform and Extras 
This installment, of course, will be a PlayStation exclusive as it's being developed by one of Sony's in-house teams. Rumor has it that there will be a collector's edition on the market which may include items such as a Kratos and Atreus statue, a cloth game world map, and a digital soundtrack, among other items. Thankfully, fans have an alleged 25 to 35 hours worth of gameplay to look forward to, which is at least double the playtime of other games in the franchise. Number 10. Barlog To some fans, the name Cory Barlog may not mean much, but to others, it's everything. Along with Sony's Santa Monica studio, Barlog will be taking over as director for this installment of the God of War franchise. He worked on the first title of the franchise, which means he's well aware of the storyline and character development. Barlog also directed the second title in the God of War series. It'll be a welcome addition to the franchise to have a director who's been previously involved with God of War. So, are you excited to play the next installment of God of War? Which God of War title was your favorite? Let us know in the comment section below, and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you can keep up with all of our videos. Thanks for watching. Death is the only way to escape.